In today's video, we're gonna talk about body fat set point theory. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the idea of the body fat set point theory. And I have some very specific thoughts on this as a coach, as a competitor, as someone who's been changing my physique over the last 20 plus years, as someone who's worked with several hundred clients, competitors. I've just seen so much when it comes to physique, to the lifestyle, and so I have some very specific thoughts and I've actually you know, been going to school, studying a little about exercise science and the uh, physiology of the body. So I've seen some cool stuff and talked about some cool stuff and I've, I've been around some people that know a lot of stuff and I ask them very good questions. So I wanna do that. But first I want to remind everyone, if you haven't watched the last couple videos, I have a free ebook out. It's simply a guide to introduce flexible dieting into the lifestyle. So if it's something you're already doing, then you probably don't need it. But there may be somebody in your life who's asked you, like, I've seen you have success and you seem to be eating a different way than I than I would attribute to a successful diet. Can you explain it to me? It's not always easy to explain how to track a macro, how to, uh, you know, how to adjust your diet to be a flexible diet, right? Um, instead of a rigid meal plan diet. So my team at Pro Physique and I put together an ebook and it's free. So email training at prophysique.com in the subject line just put nutrition or flexible diet ebook and we'll send it to you guys all we ask is that if you could after you've reviewed it and put it to use or shared it with someone give us the feedback so that we can make it better or just tell us how freaking awesome it is either way some feedback would just be uh, appreciated when you put something out into the world i think that's all we really want to ask is that you know maybe we get some some feedback so we can actually you know make sure we're doing things the right way so let's talk about body fat set point theory so body fat set point theory is the basic idea that our bodies are going to try to remain at a certain body fat level do i believe this to be true 100 percent our bodies are designed in such a way that if things change from where we are our set point the body will adapt and adjust to try to bring us back to that set point. As an example, when I go on my extreme, and I call it extreme because I get to sub 5% body fat, contest prep diets, the body is going to do things hormonally, mentally, psychologically, that is going to try to bring me back to where I was, to homeostasis, okay? This is a very complex process. There are lots of dynamic things going on at the same time. When our body fat gets very low, I have felt it. I have felt that my body wants to put body fat back on. My hunger gets higher. My attention span becomes all about food. Um, my desire to do anything other than eat becomes less and less, right? So that's something I've noticed. Now, I've also taken the other extreme. I've never been an obese person, but I definitely got heavier than my set point would say. I would say, as a general rule, I'm a very lean, athletic, I'm kind of long and lanky, I'm six foot three, so I think when I put on too much weight, I also notice some drastic changes to my mood, my behavior. So as I stand here in front of you right now, I'm around 215, 218 pounds. I got up to 250 pounds. And I noticed that incrementally, every pound I got over 230, 240, I had less and less energy. I wanted to do less and less. Food was less appetizing to me. As weird as that sounds, for someone that's you know been so food focused, I just didn't have interest in eating. Um, I had to force feed myself. Now, granted, this was an attempt to put on weight. I was. I was, the goal was to reach 250 pounds. Um, so I was constantly having to eat to make myself um, reach that weight. And I was not able to do much cardio at all because I would find I would drop weight quickly. So I was powerlifting at the time. The goal being to get to 250, did it, hated it, and easily dropped 20, 25 pounds um, just from going back to eating like normal and doing some cardio and being more active. 
my natural state is to be active. I cannot sit still, okay? I like to get up and go and do things and walk and run and play sports. Uh, the gym is a great outlet for me, but even then I still need to do things on top of that. So in my experience, I realize I'm talking about myself a lot here, but in my experience, I have seen the symptoms that happen when you try to change. So can we change our body fat set point? That's probably the question that this person was getting after. This again came from my Instagram direct messages. Body fat set point theory would say that your set point is what it is. Can it change? I would say yes. When we're talking about our body fat, a body fat as a whole, body fat, the way I look at it, and I've discussed this with people, PhDs and doctors, body fat is basically another organ in our body. It interacts with our brains. It sends and receives signals, right? So when body fat changes, when you get more and more body fat, people that get heavier, they change their set point to that heavier level. And it can become very difficult to lose that body fat, okay? Because that is now your body's accepted new set point. So can we change it in our favor? This is a little bit more difficult because the way I see changing it in our favor would be body composition improving, meaning more muscle, less body fat. I do believe we can add a significant amount of muscle to our frame, thus improving our body composition. I do not think we can move the needle much lower on body fat from our set point because it's set throughout our lifetime. I think I maintain a leaner physique but I think most of that comes down to the fact that I am able to maintain more muscle because I've been training for so long and I've adapted my metabolism to eat a little bit more while being leaner. I do find that I'm hungrier than I would normally be. So perhaps I have not actually changed my set point. I've just changed the psychology of my set point. I will say I think it's very easy to change your set point the wrong way. I've seen people put on weight and it's just never going to come off unless they do drastic measures. And even then, they get the same uh, reaction to trying to lose weight as I would, being not very much overweight, right? So I think we can change our body fat set point um, to that new heavier set point much easier than we can change it to a leaner set point. Now for those people that are like, well, I know I'm a lot leaner and it's a lot easier for me to maintain, your genetic disposition may have always been to be leaner prior to you being heavier. And when you got leaner for the first time or when you got leaner, if you did, you just found that more natural to maintain. I don't know. These are just my opinions on the subject. It's just a discussion. Um, what does it mean? What does it change for you? Likely nothing. Understanding that there, there is a body fat set point, I will say the longer you maintain any area, if you maintain heavier, if you maintain leaner, I believe it gets easier to maintain. I find that with my athletes who are competitors, when we get stage lean, if we really take care of things post-show, it's easier to maintain staying lean. Now, not stage lean, but leaner than they started prep. Now, a lot of that comes down to habits, lifestyle, all these things changing, but they are now maintaining a leaner physique. So it is possible with time to adjust your body fat set point. That's my thoughts, guys. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome Wednesday and I'll talk to you tomorrow.